My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. We're gonna be playing the Marine because fuck the rules, I have money. Uh, six money, to be entirely accurate with you. Let's kick your helmet down the hole again. You could get mad at me. Yep, there it is. You are the worst. It isn't even a surprise anymore. I heard the stories, but how could someone like this be real? Another time, another time. Okay, there we go. End of new dialogue. Now you, man servant's an excellent companion. Shuffle off, of course. Heart purse. I do like heart purse. Bloody eye seems interesting as well. Or gunny. I will take heart purse just because it seems like another heart upgrade, and I do like heart upgrades. And then we'll move on. You are the worst, Burr. All right, down to the first level. What do I want as this fellow? Yeah, weapons. Upgrades of damage would be nice. God. It's an abysmal beginning. Well, at least I know that the... There is no adjacent secret room. Otherwise, it would have been opened by that, because that does function in the same way that a blank does for finding secret rooms. As far as I'm aware, at least. Flip the tables! Yeah, beautiful. Ooh, excellent! We actually got an update on our progress towards the table flipping. We have flipped 200 out of 500 tables for an achievement. I love it. Okay, one down. Two down. Three down. I just need to get back into the swing of this game. That's what I need right now. I'm a little out of it. Just a little. Not too badly out of it. I can definitely pull myself back in. I'm only going to take uh, two floors. So I guess my goal is survive those two floors until I'm back into the group of the game and hope that I haven't screwed myself so badly on those two floors as to not be able to continue playing. Bullet Idol. Blunderboss. Well, I guess I definitely want to be saving up for the Bullet Idol, see if I can get 65 on this floor. If I can't get 65, then I probably just want to go for the key. That's almost certainly the way that I want to be going with this. Unfortunately, there is no one to sell weaponry to. So if I get a shitty weapon, I can't just sell it for a little bit more money. I can't shoot things and get trash and then use that trash for more money. I'm a little limited in my options right now. Okay. And then we just have the rest of you here. A little bit more HP just in case. Now, I've heard that apparently the game rewards you through the drop system. Hunt complete. Oh, beautiful. Apparently, the game rewards you through the drop system for taking fewer hits. So, the fewer hits you take, the more money, the more keys, etc. you get. That would be interesting. Because it basically makes the game easier the better you are doesn't seem the correct way to be doing that to me, but you know. I'm not a game designer. At least, not yet. No, I'm not a game designer. Full stop. So many times I watch people do LPs and they say things like, Oh yeah, no, this, this is a really weird game mechanic, but it's not going to be like that in my game. And every single time... It's, it's strange, there's so many people I know who do LPs who are going into actual game design. I am not one of them yet. <laughs> not even close. Oh, beautiful. Take no damage. Take no damage. Yeah, we did it. And we got a key out of it. Banana. Plan pain. Oh, shit. So that's a room clearing weapon. Wonder how that'll do with uh, bosses. I don't know. Anyway, we now have another key. And that was basically open for free. If you want to think of it like that. We didn't have to use a key because it was a mimic. And we even got a key from it. Beautiful. Hey, we'll open the door to 
different directions up here that we get to check. Can it hit me? Okay, it seems like a good room clear. It cannot hit me. That's good. Very... Ooh! Table tech stun flip showmanship. Now, I have seen this used before. Anytime you flip a table, it stuns everyone in the room. But that, that sounds like, oh, yeah, sure, the stun will be relatively short. I mean, it'll have to be balanced. No, the stun does not have to be short. The stun is insanely long. I would not be surprised if this got uh, hit with a little bit of a rebalance at some point in the near future. Until then, however, I'm going to exploit the ever-loving sh out of it. I might actually go down to the special floor. I haven't decided yet. myself into a pretty poor corner there. Nope. Damn it. Oh, I actually managed to roll through the melee hit there, but unfortunately I screwed myself immediately afterwards. Well, it's not going to be a flawless clear. And we're going to lose a lot of our bananas doing it. But that's okay. That was a good dodge, as far as I'm concerned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, no, we should be fine for killing you in that barrage. Ah, dang it. You know what? I think we do go down to the extra floor. Moonscraper as well is actually a little bit of a hint in that direction also for me. Uh, okay, I'm going to try this room. First off, I do need to locate a water barrel. That's actually relatively important to get done soon. But, boom! We found ourselves a secret room. Ugh. Oh, God! I was not expecting that. Hey, I killed you instantly! <laughs> oh, entirely unintentionally. All right, charms bow. Beautiful. We've got a lot of weapons. Not many of them I want to hold on to, though. Just need to find ourselves a water source. That's not going to do it up there. Oh, God. Is it actually this far away? There's always one on the first floor. Unless, of course, I've accidentally broken it. In which case, there should still be the remnants of the container on the floor. Maybe not a puddle anymore, at least. Usually it's relatively close. No. Again, no on that one. Really? Huh. I'm not going to stop until I find one. Or the ruined wrecked remains of one. That would also stop me. I want it. I want it. I don't have the bullet idol yet. I've never picked it up. I want to know what it does. And there's only one way to find out. Read the wiki. But if I don't want to read the wiki, then I can also just get the actual item in game. And then sometimes I'm not even going to know after doing that, which is going to be weird. And now you should be able to go the entire way up. Table take stun. Table take stun. Oh, what? Really? Huh. I thought that those were going to be lined up. Apparently, they're just slightly askew of one another. Um, 
Yeah, no, it is this room. Oh, really? I screwed that up. There we go. That should be fine. And the fireplace is down here. So we are going to be going to the Weeble. Basically, because I feel relatively confident, I have a lot of early weapons. Moonscraper is going to be really good against the Weeble boss. Whereabouts has the secret room spawned? It is up here. Now, just in case you haven't seen me do this before or anyone do this before, you need two keys in order to unlock it. And then you go down to a special level. A special level is basically level 1.5 because you still get the second level afterwards, which basically makes this a free floor if you can survive that will allow you to get a little more powerful before you continue. Anyone else? It's a yes on that question, actually. Stun him. See how long they were stunned for? Yeah. It's kind of insane. It's a little bit bollocks, if I'm honest with you. I'm going to use the charm bow for a while. Oh! That's actually a new person. Interesting. Uh-huh. That's also something interesting in the future. We'll see whether or not we actually manage to use that to the best of its own effects. But until then... Uh, okay. We did manage to actually charm someone. So for the first three shots, we weren't charming anyone, which was really annoying. Okay, you should just stop shooting because you're being charmed, right? Okay. Oh, God. That still hit me. Dangers? Cell key will unlock this area down here. And we also have a heart that we can pick up. Beautiful. Thank you for rescuing me. I thought I was going to be stuck in here forever. Maybe I'll see you around. Just because of the eye movement and the little nose slash mouth thing, that kind of sounded like it would be... In my mind, I looked at that face and I was like, you sound like the Choose Goose from Adventure Time. Oh, man. I have no idea what's going on here. That kind of thing. In my head, that sounds like the Choose Goose. I don't know if it sounds like the Choose Goose to you. Because all I can hear is what's in my head. Do people loyal to me fight other people loyal to me? That's interesting. Yes, is the answer to that. Okay, it's an interesting room clear for larger rooms where you can just dodge away from things and capitalize relatively consistency. Uh, sorry, relatively consistently, rather. On dodging and basically having everyone else do your real offense for you, but it still doesn't feel that great to do. That's actually really good getting the toffee guy there. Okay, I will let that bullet go before we actually go into the store. Uh, I don't really want either of those. Sorry. Okay, no, we need just a small, quick weapon for this. The amount of damage we deal is not important in this room. What is important is... Oh, cool, we can kill the corpses. wonder if there's any reason behind doing that. Okay. Stun them! Forever! Beautiful. Now, I wonder if there's any reason to actually bother killing corpses. Hey! That's actually a reasonable pickup for me. 
since we have increased accuracy being the Marine, extra, just a reasonable shotgun. Like a normal, reasonable, entirely okay shotgun is a really good weapon. Okay. <sighs> Just gonna wait for you to stop spinning for a second. And then kill you. No! Okay, we need some long range weaponry right now. Oh shit, did we get both of them? Oh, we totally did. Excellent. I have run out of bananas. So I'm gonna be moon scraping for a while. Ah, it's unfortunate. I do want to save a lot of that ammo for the boss, but... Oh god, the table flipping is real! Mmm, beautiful. Extra tables for our achievement. We still have a lot more to be checking out on this floor. Relatively large room. Oh, really? Okay, so my allies' bullets still harm me. And enemies that spawn from dead allies are still not my friends. God, look at how little damage this actually does. So that little guy actually only does damage if you try and dodge him. If you stand directly in front of him, he does no damage because he can't shoot in a way that will actually hit you. That's interesting. There's enemies in Isaac that do the same thing. Oh, I don't have a key. What about a key? In fact, I was certain I had a key. Oh man, that was a solid clear right there. I could be clearing this with my default weapon a lot more quickly, and I wouldn't be wasting ammo for a weapon. But uh, apparently, that's just an uninteresting concept for me. Okay, what do I do? I think I use my regular shotgun, to be entirely honest with you. Can I mark another thing as my favorite? How do I do that? I have no clue. But we'll go, like, regular shotgun and moon scrape. I'll start with the moon scrape, but then we'll go regular shotgun afterwards. Okay, welcome back. Oh, okay. I have to roll across those, I remember now. Oh god! No, I rolled away. That was bad. That was real bad. Should not have taken damage there. Oh, uh, well. Guess we're just not going to flawless this one. Let's get our regular shotgun out. Oh, God. We should have been using the regular shotgun the whole time. Look at the damage on this. God damn. Oh. Clear Guon Stone. What does this one do? Negates poison damage. Interesting. Wonder how useful that's actually going to be in my future. 
Okay, let's try and find the secret room. I think it's going to be around here. I do want the key in order to open that. I should have bought the key at the end of the last floor. But I was hoping that maybe there would be something amazing that I'd want to pick up this floor. Oh, well. Nope. Uh, hazmat suit? Hazmat suit. Pro safety protocol. So this negates, actually... Negates poison damage. Immunity to fire, poison, electricity. So... It's kind of crappy. You can actually need that. Okay, we'll get the old crest and then make our way down to the next floor. I need to make sure that I don't take any damage before I actually get to the area where the old crest is useful. Which is something I haven't been able to show on the series yet. So that'll be exciting if I manage to get that. Okay, Gungeon proper. I am just looking for the shop, please. Shop, please. Nope. on. Just gonna try and play it safe. Stay at large range. I don't need to get up close and personal. Not yet. Uh, actually I'm getting that for the banana. The banana is such a good room clear. If, if it hit me as well as the opponents, it wouldn't be that good, but it only hits enemies. It's just like a Big old AoE damage kind of thing. A little less reliable in terms of AoE, though. I can understand it being so, though, so I'm fine. Uh, da, da, da. I guess I'm going to try and use it just to reliably clear. Oh, God. This is not a good room to be clearing with this. There we go. This is what I wanted. Oh, God! Oh, wow, I actually made it away. Whew. I thought I wasn't going to be able to make that gap. So I was like, oh, did I just actually roll and kill my own armor? God, that would have been shitey. Well, nope. Okay, that was very close as well. Turns out I could have skipped almost all of that, though. Table tech stun is insane. Just in case you didn't believe me when I said it before. <gasps> Are we actually going to get this done? Okay, there's gun muncher. Fine, I have a few shitty guns later. Really? So there's a specific room I'm looking for. And in almost all cases I've seen, it's next to the shop. But it's it's not here. So I'm kind of panicking. I'm going to look nearby the shop. I don't want to roll a d20 yet. This room is apparently safe. Yeah, it's just people to heal me. Interesting. Let's teleport immediately down here. Don't want to waste my own time. I'm actually keeping the health around. Oh, God. This is the room where that ends. Beautiful. That actually worked out really well for me. Oh, the room is cleared. Awesome. Shit. I don't even know what hit me. But now I'm really sad. Well, that kind of sucks. If this is actually the room, I'm going to be pissed as hell. No, it's not. Okay, so I would have had another room at least to go through. 
going to be on the other side of the thing in the shop, isn't it? <laughs> no, here it is. Yeah. So we would go here, the altar is empty, and we would put the crest there. Unfortunately... Uh, I still think I played really well this floor, but we just got kind of screwed on that one. Uh, Derringer is shitty. I'm going to be giving that to the gun mantra 100%. At the very least, it was down in that direction. It wasn't up in here. Two empty slots in the gun muncher. Take the derringer, and you have room for more. I think the charmed bow is not going to be something that I'm going to be capable of using for a very long time. It just does no damage. <gasps> hey, that's actually a really good weapon. New gun processed. Beautiful. Mega hand. Charge it up. Go into a room. Blast someone's face off immediately. I don't mind if I do. It's really powerful. You might have seen that that face was a big enemy and it still got beaten the hell down with a single shot. Yeah, lemons! All right. It almost entirely destroyed a chest as well. It's a powerful piece of, piece of tech here. I can actually pick up the Prime Primer and apparently the Prime Primer has a effect outside of being an ends game item that you want. Like it's an item for the permanent progression of the game. But apparently it has an effect outside of that as well, which is interesting to me. I did not think that was true, but apparently it is. I don't know the effect off by heart, unfortunately, though. Damn it. I really thought I was going to be able to flawless this one. I've been having good luck recently with the... Oh, God. Oh, it's really annoying. Oh, God, they're so quick as well. Oh, it's healing itself anytime it eats one of those. I can't! No, 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 no! Don't die! Jeez! Absolutely cornered me. Okay, what have we got here? Grenade launcher with a flomp. Thankfully, I have a full heal available this floor. Just over here. I think I'll also roll the bones. Yeah, we'll roll the bones. Roll of the dice, robbed plus blanked. So I was given a bunch of blanks, but I was robbed of what? Oh, I was robbed of a passive. I seem to recall having more passives than this. Table text stun, hazmat suit, clear guanstone. I don't know what was robbed. Oh, I, th I think I had uh, hegemony credits taken. Because I started this run with six hedge mini crit. No, I spent four of them. I have no clue what was robbed. All right, yes, this is bad. We will need to operate. Yep, talk to you. And then stand over here and get operated upon. The operation was a success. Uh, I want to try and find the secret room before I do anything else, actually. It's unlikely to be there. So, something I've learned is apparently if you want to find your secret room, draw a box around the entire map. It's not going to be outside of that. So, it's easily adjacent to here. Oh. And to here. I can just check rooms at the moment. To here. Oh, again. Interesting. It's also actually easily adjacent to the room where I got my full heal. It would have a track up or across if there was one. 
Hey, there we are. Beautiful. Absolute trash that I didn't need. Alright, let's try and blow open the chest. Thank you for the trash. I had to imagine that was going to occur. And let's get out of here. Hang on, apparently there are two secret rooms per floor. That's something that I've been told. Uh, okay, I'm going to test two more rooms just because I can. And then I'll teleport my way out again. Nope. It easily still could be true and I'm just not blasting the right rooms down. Unfortunately, I don't really know any metric for how to find them. In Isaac, it's pretty obvious. In Ziggurat, it's hugely obvious. Um, just not certain in this game. Let's take the regular shotgun out for a while. Ah, uh, no, Mega Hand, Mega Hand. That was bad. Yeah! That was awesome! So I guess this weapon is bad only in a scenario where you really need to be shooting quickly. Okay. I mean, that doesn't seem like enough of a downside to stop using it, like, ever. It just does a lot of damage. Okay, so two shots from it are enough to first off kill, single shot kills a mushroom, but two shots from it kills a level of that guy. One totem on the totem pole. That's really powerful. I think I'll just be trying to upgrade, sorry, keep armor for this way. Uh, that didn't get a kill. Oh shit, I stood next to you. Oh, hang on, never mind. We found a secret room as a result. And the secret room has armor in it. So honestly, as far as I'm concerned, we broke even there. Although now we know that there's probably not a secret room that I care about this for. Damn it. Uh, I got predicted. I was playing so well in that room up until that point. Oh, well. Mailbox. There's also the sling. The sling is pretty good for box. Uh, box. Bosses, rather. Something I've learned. Damn it! Oh, my God. How much damage do I want to take in this room? Apparently, all of my HP. Oh, God. Stop it, Ryan. Jeez. Okay, is there any HP on the floor somewhere that I can pick up? Not yet. Oh god. Yeah, no, I'm not fighting the boss like this. Are you kidding me? I tried to do that diagonally, I promise you. Kill all of them. Get out of the room before those blow up. Oh, God. Uh, almost killed myself there. How the hell do I get into... Oh, it's got to be up and around then. Since that door's blocked... It has to be around and then down through here. Come on, up you come. A reasonable amount of money. Really? Oh, I was hoping for another wave because there were so many tables in there.
Okay, so Guanstones also seem to block bullets entirely. They're like an orbital. Love it. Uh, okay. Key? Key, 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 key. Key. Beauty. Let's go right back to that big old chest. Pop her open. What are you? Heck Blaster. Whoa, Nelly. I... Okay, so I have been reading the wiki recently. I'm pretty sure the Heck Blaster does stupid damage. That was a good room clip. Yeah, I'm pretty certain I read about the Heck Blaster and it has invisible bullets, but it does like 900 damage per shot or something stupid. Maybe that's just an inaccuracy on the wiki. Maybe that's an inaccuracy in my memory of reading the wiki. Or maybe it's insane and we might actually win this run. It also does have 999 ammo, so I can't imagine it's as good as I think it is. That was a little risky to me. Really hoping for HP there. Boss got HP? Oh, you do. Thank you. Okay. Seems like it's doing reasonable damage, but there's a huge difference between reasonable and 990 whatever I thought it was. Um, oh god. That was almost too close. Uh, Mega Hand. No, I'm probably better served by just keeping up consistent damage from a different weapon. Oh, Grenade Launch is probably the way to go, actually. Because this weapon, uh, sorry, this weapon, this enemy isn't really agile. So why would I care about the main problem of Grenade Launcher, which is that it's really difficult to hit enemies that dodge it. God, I am just not getting any flawlesses. Not recently, at least. But weirdly, that's not stopping me. <laughs> Took all 25 to take you down, but worth. Excuse me. I think I'll, uh... Thank you. Jeez, that just did not want to be collected. Molotov launcher. I love that it just says exactly what you think. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense, to be entirely honest with you. Okay, Chamber 4. I'm glad to be back here. To be entirely honest with you, I don't know if I deserve it, but we are here. Regardless of whether or not we're worthy. Oh, God. I'm away. Thank you. Uh, you know what? We'll run with the banana for a while. as many tables as we possibly can whilst we're at it. Okay, if a single banana doesn't kill a single enemy, suddenly the banana is not a great weapon. Although it still kills a lot of enemies. Guess we'll just run out of ammo on the banana first and then I'll worry about other stuff. else other than that one who is now dead anyone else 
God, there is always someone else. I should stop asking. Okay. What do we think about this? We put forth a nerve such as... Sh sorry. We put forth that a nerve such as thee could ne'er clear the forthcoming room. Without taking damage, prove thee can and we will reward thee handsomely. Uh-huh. I accept your bets. We got it. Oh, God. What on earth is occurring here? All oh, right, it's a big old face. Oh, guess who cleared it without taking damage? Him, it's me, motherfucker. All right, talk to you for my. Oh, great, I have to talk to you. Excuse me? Find demonstration of skill. Perhaps next time speak with us first and we can make it a bit more interesting. Are you kidding me? I did it! Oh, you know what? I didn't have the money. I didn't have the money to pay him, so... I kept hitting E, assuming that I actually got it, but no, I did not. Looks like badge is apparently a great item. Pink guan stone seems good too. Really? I thought that had to be a secret room. Apparently not. Whoopsie. Uh, and we'll go back to Mega Hand for a while, I guess. Imagine if I still have banana. Oh, man. We'd be really quite pleased with the state of affairs in such a scenario. Thank you for appearing. Table Tech Stun is so good. Oh man, it can carry a whole run. It's so good. It looks like the very small amount of damage that you deal when you roll into an enemy actually killed that one. Beautiful. It's actually interesting to know, just in case I get into a situation where I have an enemy to kill and I happen to... Well, specifically, it would have to be that enemy and I would have to use a fully charged Mega Blast shot against it to open the kill. It was either do that, by the way, or take damage. Although it might have been a better idea to actually just take the damage there. I do need some blanks for the boss. At the moment, it looks like I'm pretty much just going to go to the boss without a blank. That's, uh, it's not fine. Okay, we are on to our final 17 bullets for our best weapon. Thankfully, we still have our reload. just rolled into that guy. I think I'll use my reload on the Mega Hand. Come on, it's bad. Real bad. Hey, key! Beautiful. Let me just find my other chest, and then we can decide where the key is going to be best spent. Really? I heard if you rolled into an enemy who was frozen, you killed them instantly. Oh man, just imagine this with any damage up. The amount of bullets it fires, sorry, bullets that it fires rather than bullets. It actually seems to be a pretty good weapon though. Even if the bullets are invisible, I'm relatively accurate. Uh, no. We're not going over the other one there. Sorry about that. Just not gonna happen. Oh shit, yo! RPG! And... Let's see what we've got in here. <gasps> ha! 
lot of ice. That's cool, man. Really cool. It's quite chill, too. Cold. Just <laughs> saying words related to cold. Uh, th what about this? Alright. Oh, you guys are still alive. What the fuck? Oh, one resurrected next to me and I didn't see it in time. Come on, where's the resurrection near? Anyone else? Nope, beautiful. I think we will call in the extra ammo for the Mega Hand, and then we'll try and use the Heck Blaster. Oh, I hate this guy so much. Well, there goes our Flawless. Well, there goes a lot of our life as well. Oh, fuck! That one originated on me! It goes a bunch of my HP. The problem is I can't get any satisfaction. No, I can't get any experience in this fight because I get to do it so rarely that I don't really get to like train. Yeah, I'm dead. So those occasionally just blow up even if they don't hit you. Nice to know. I am still proud of that, to be entirely honest with you. And we also finished one of Freibel's quests, so we're going to be able to check in with him next episode. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself, and hopefully we will see you next time.